What is up, potty people? Okay, I made this way too gangster. This is just a demonstration of how you get Wirecast working for Facebook Live and how you get OBS working for Facebook Live, okay? I'll go medium speed, medium speed. Who am I? I'm Trey Rackliff. Hello, nice to meet you. This is my page. Uh, people have been asking me um, how I do these live broadcasts like this, okay? You see this? Trey Rackliff was live. You can see me on my desktop. I edit photos and give travel tips. We have this show we do called Becoming an Artist on Facebook Live. You gotta watch it, it's awesome. Some, come subscribe, people. All right, that was stupid. Now, here's Wirecast, okay? Um, it's software, you can buy it. It's expensive, it's like 500 bucks. I don't think you need the $1,000 Pro one. But I'll also show you how to use OBS, which is free. However, in my testing, I could not get OBS to work, but I do know how it is supposed to work, and my friend Stuart got it to work from his, from Scotland on my account. I gave him my login, so I know it works, and I know people do use it, and it's free. Okay, we'll start with Wirecast, because Wirecast is better. You could do a lot more stuff with Wirecast. I'll just show you the basics. Okay, so you can see what you have here is you have um, shots, okay? Starts with a the bank shot, blank shot. <laughs> Great tutorial so far, Trey. Hey, you get this, you get what you pay for with these tutorials. It's free. No complaining. Here we go. This is an, a shot that was added. Okay. Now, if we go look at this thing, let's let's break it apart. Okay. What's what you're basically seeing here is my desktop and picture in picture with me on my monitor. Okay, or me and my my webcam on the MacBook here. All right. So you can see that we have source A, which is local desktop presenter, okay? And that's my desktop, right? Source B is my camera, okay? Let's recreate this from scratch, okay? So here, you go over this and I'm gonna add something, okay? So I'm gonna add, add this little video camera. I'm gonna add my desktop, okay? There we go, so there's my desktop, okay, boom. You can see it right here. Then I'm going to go change the template. Okay, you can change it to whatever you want. It's just an example. It's what I do. I do PIP lower left. Boom. Okay, now there's a big B there. Okay, and then go to this one and you're going to add a FaceTime HD or whatever your webcam is, right? You add that in there. Okay, then you go back to this one and you say change source, source B. FaceTime camera, okay, or your webcam. Now that option isn't there right away unless you add it over there to the right, okay? Then you go over here and you can delete this one, okay? Delete shot, all right? And then um, you can go finagle a little bit more if you want to. I'll, I'll go adjust it a little bit, okay? So I'm gonna go to edit shot, okay? Then I will go to this thing right here. That's my, whoops, what did I do? Oh, yeah, I gotta go to this. And then I go to the cropping, and I can crop off a little bit of the right and left because it's just too much stuff, right? Whoop, a little too, too skinny there, too skinny. So you can crop it off to give yourself a little bit more room. Okay, done. Oh, and then you can position it just by grabbing this and just moving it down into the corner. Whoop, just like that. Pretty cool, huh? Simple, simple, simple. Okay, you can also go to this one. You can change what it looks like, right? Put yourself in a cloud or... Uh, make a heart, <laughs> or just, I think I just do rounded. Okay, boom, simple, just like that, okay? Um, oh, you can also position around with this thing. Whoop, whoop, okay, boom. Okay, then I'll say done, I'll close this up. And then, um, now here's a big thing that I didn't do. You gotta make sure you click this way, okay? Boom, all right, so that it goes over here. Oh, you can also go pick your audio source. Uh, change audio. I have, um, I might use my Samson, for example. I'm not going to do that right now because I'm recording this with ScreenFlow Pro and that might mess it all up. Okay. So you can choose your audio source there as well. And again, whenever you make any changes, be sure to go click this little arrow again. Okay. Because this is what's live and this is what you're preparing to do live. Now, as you can tell, this is very powerful. You can do lots of other things and throw them over live during the broadcast. I'm just teaching you the basics. All right. Just the basics. Then, when it comes time to stream, what you want to do is you'll click um, stream, okay, and 
you have to go choose a source, okay? Um, this one you might pick Facebook, for example, all right? And you say, we have to go to more here? No, that's all right. You say, okay, all right. And it's gonna bring up this thing, all right? You can call it whatever you want. My FB Live, okay, destination Facebook. You wanna make sure you authenticate, okay? Uh, this will do that Facebook authentication thing, so it logs you in. Okay, then you can give your thing a title, blah, blah, blah. This is what my thing's going to be about. Okay, and then you have to click create. Okay, now what it's going to do is it's going to go to the server. It's going to get a unique key and send it back to you. Okay, and then you say, okay, all right. Now you're ready to go. Um, you're not quite live. Now you click stream, and it will start streaming. Okay, and I suggest you have a... The first few times you do it, actually, I have a second monitor that I keep it open on, or I keep uh, Facebook open on just to make sure I'm streaming and I can look at the comments and, and that sort of thing. All right, easy cheesy. That's how you do it. Now, let's talk about OBS, okay? What's going on, OBS? Uh, OBS is down here. I think it stands for Open Broadcast Server or something. Let me close down Wirecast. I'm crossing the streams here. Uh, don't save. Don't save. Okay. So, in some ways, this is even easier to set up. Okay. Um, you get to set up your sources here. Let me go ahead and remove all my sources. Uh, yes, and then yes, remove. Okay. It starts out blank. Okay. So, I'm going to add a source here. So, I'm going to go add, for example, display capture. Okay. And that's just my desktop. Okay. Um, you can crop and do all kinds of stuff. I'll say okay, and then I'm going to add also um, a video capture device, okay, which is my webcam. Boom. I don't need to be that big, all right. So with my hair today, what's going on? Okay, and say okay, and then you have your little thing here, right? So you just move it wherever you want to. Very simple, okay. Very simple. Now you need to go set up your Facebook Jazz. Facebook Jazz Razzmatazz, okay? You go to Settings, all right, then go to Stream, all right? Now, they don't have Facebook as an option here. They have other things like Twitch and stuff like that. So you have to go to Custom, okay? So you gotta get all your custom stuff, okay? How do you do that? Well, on your page, you go to Publishing Tools, like this, boom. Inside of here, you're gonna get all the stuff you need to for your live video broadcast. You click on live. By default, it's uh, it's here, okay? And then we just did a 2.2 million reach, awesome. I must have said something more clever than this. Oh, you go to live videos here, and then you click create. Okay, now these are the things you need. This is your server URL. So go and copy that, and go find your OBS paste it in here, and then this is your key. Okay, so grab that. Each broadcast will have a different key, and it will last for 24 hours. And you paste it in there. Okay, you can show it if you want to. Then you say, okay, all right. So you have to go, every time you want to do it again, you, you click um, create, you, you have to create a new one every time, okay? So then you click preview, you see, you see? And this thing comes up, all right? And you get to name it. You can name it whenever you want. Tag it, blah, 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 okay? It says offline, because I haven't started streaming. And this is where mine breaks, so I'm not even gonna try it. But you click start streaming, and then about five seconds later, it shows up here, and then you just click go live, and you're good to go, okay? Well, I hope this was helpful to you. Hope you enjoyed our little trip here. Good times, good times. Um, I will see you next time. Um, subscribe to the channel, yo. Or don't. That was stupid. I don't. I don't always act that stupid. It's not true. I act stupid in new, surprising ways every time. All right. Thank you. Bye.